When you use a computer, what's on your mind? You probably have a job that you want to get done. Imagine you're writing an assignment. Your experience as a computer user is seamless. You open the application you're going to write in, use the keyboard to type and the words instantly appear on screen. And when you're done, you save the file. Simple, isn't it? While this might seem like no big deal, behind the screen there is a lot going on. If you were to directly communicate with your computer, you'd have to speak in ones and zeros. That's where operating systems come in. Your operating system is like a genie that magically takes care of your request. Here's how it works. The operating system translates your human request into computer language and delegates jobs to four special managers that each have their own responsibilities and work together like a team to get the job done. There's the memory manager assessing and allocating the memory required. The device manager making the most efficient use of external devices, for example thumb drive, printer, keyboard. The file manager acting like a security guard to set access permissions to system files. And the processor manager allocating hardware and software resources. The operating system works as their boss and to make sure they are all working in harmony. Windows, Mac OS, Linux and Unix are the big operating systems. Each has its own advantages and disadvantages, but they're all based on this concept. This subject is organized into two major parts. In the first part, you will discover what operating systems are, what they do, and how they are designed and constructed. In the second part, you will delve deeper into the operating system in more practical terms and see how an operating system like Linux works. Linux is free, open source and community driven. It has the flexibility for customization and as its community of developers share ideas to continually improve the operating system, it's no wonder. Linux now powers over 90% of the world's top servers and is dominating the world of cloud computing. Even if you've never heard of Linux, you're probably already using it every day. Whenever you use Google, Facebook, Twitter, Amazon or PayPal, you are using Linux servers. If you are using an Android phone, you are using one of the sub-products of Linux. Just like the Matrix, Linux is everywhere. With Linux up your sleeve, you'll be equipping yourself to make some magic of your own design. So join the community and let's get started.